And so, you know, bringing in another baby. Yay! I'm just like, you know, we're here to reproduce. Of course. That's what we're here to do. And, mm-hmm. and I think that we get selfish mm-hmm. because we think about what we want to do, right. what the goals we want to achieve. And I get it. We want to have money to provide. Mm-hmm. But that's not what God put us here to do. Oh, you, you preaching know? today. That's not what, you know, and yeah. as a woman, I'm just here to do what God want me to do. Absolutely. And, um, you know, hopefully the rest, it, it all makes sense in the end. But I'm going to love my kids regardless of having my kids for me. What's going on? I'm Mia Bell, and you're watching another episode of BET Talks. And today, my special guest is the finest black American doll you'll ever meet, okay? <laughs> I'm talking mom, mm-hmm. artist, actress, and whatever she's doing, it's always going to be her big one. Cash Doll is in the building. What's up, girl? Hey, Cash Doll. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I am doing great. That's good. Especially now that I'm here with you. Yes. We both got our pink we on. We got our pink on. We was feeling it. We yes. was feeling it. We was we feeling were. real pinkish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's today Wednesday. No, nope, it ain't. It's not. Uh, I was about to say on Wednesdays we work. We tried though, but that's how you know we the real doll. Is that because we go ahead of time? All the time. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Now <laughs> you are on a roll as always. I feel like every time since 2015 that you've dropped, it's always your big one. Yeah. Whatever you do, even when you're talking crazy to people, yeah. it's your big one. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm gonna do my big one. Every I'm gonna time. let you know that right now. No matter what the situation <laughs> is, I'm gonna do my big one. Even when I don't even supposed to be. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it. <laughs> and I feel like that's also because of where you come from. Yeah. In yep. Detroit, they do everything big. Everything big. Yeah, and I was just saying that, like, you know, we the house, I mean, we the home of furs and gators and mm-hmm. capital of the hair, you Absolutely. know? So, like, that's just our thing. We like yeah. doing it big. <laughs> and we like flossing. Mm-hmm. We like stunting. We like hustling. We like making money. Everybody have a Rolex in Detroit. Right. You no know what I'm saying? No are. matter who you are. Mm-hmm. We call, like, jewelry a kit. Right. So, like, you got to have a chain, some earrings, and a watch. You got to have a kit. When did you get your first kit? Whew, uh-huh. A long time ago, baby. Yeah? Baby, I've been doing this for a long time now. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me think. My first kit. Your first kit? Uh, did you get your first kit on your own, or did somebody get it for on you? On my Does own. It... Okay, okay, okay. You know what? A lot of pieces I have, I got on my own. Like, mm. of course, my man bought me pieces, too, but... I like, I'm into it. I'm right. genuinely into diamonds. I know color of diamonds, the cuts of diamonds. I know the different stones. I know the different, I am a Detroit girl. Through and through. I just can't help it, you know? So um, I think I've got my first kid when I was in, just coming out of high school, going into Ooh, college. Okay. Going into college. It probably wasn't like a big kit, of mm-hmm. course, but I had pieces for it sure. Was it was something. I got my first watch. I had a Brightland. My first watch was a Brightland. Okay. And um, it was only buzzed down, down the middle. Mm. And I got that one out. Like, yeah, only in the <laughs> middle. But it was cute. You know, back then, Brightlands was a thing. And then I got a Rolex and I kept a Rolex. And a couple APs here and there, Cartier's. You know, I, I just like jewelry. And this is why you're able to talk all the talk that you do talk, because you've been doing it for yourself. And for so long. And for so long. Because even when I was rap, before I was rapping, because I started rapping in 2014. Mm -hmm. Um, So, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years in the game, rapping for a long time. And before that, I was, I danced for a a year or so, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then before that, I had jobs, hella jobs. I'm talking about I worked at Best Buy. I worked at Little Caesars. Mm-hmm. I worked at Better Made Chip Factory. You were not Mich- playing. <laughs> I liked money. Right. You know? And my real name is Keisha. Mm-hmm. So, like, I was the girl on the block named Keisha that had, she always had the latest coach shoes Gotta on. Gotta keep up. Whatever it was, <laughs> that was me. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's who I am. In the end, that's, it's in me. Right. You know, I can't try to be nothing else. So, yeah. that's that Detroit. Absolutely. <laughs> and a lot of times when people see that energy, I feel like they think that, one, it's all by luck. Mm-hmm. And we know that ain't it. Hustling. Right. Don't I'm ever hustled. call Cash Doll Lucky. Okay, because I got a song. I got. I know. Cash oh. Commandments. I said that. Mm-hmm. I said, um, you see how hard I ground, little bitch? Don't ever call me lucky. Ever. And also, people feel like, you know, when all they see is you winning, they think that you don't go through <laughs> hard times. Baby. Baby, because you know what we we, and I and I and I understand mm-hmm. the um dy- dynamic of social media because we we like to show 
our achievements right. when we look good. Right. When we um, accomplish something, right. you know, we, we want to, because that's what you're proud of. Right, it's your portfolio. Yeah, so, right. So we don't go and say, look, this is where I fail, or this is when I lost my house, or this is when I lost this. the diary. Yeah, it's not the diary. Mm-hmm. That's why, and then I keep a balance in that, because right. I don't go on there and talk about when me and my man is going through it, neither. Right. So I don't give you all my personal business, so... Of course, I'm going to show the wins because I want to motivate women. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you go on my story, you'll catch me with no makeup on when my mm-hmm. hair ain't done, face card decline. Mm-hmm. Sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think to differ, but okay. Every now and then, right? whatever. So um, I got my ups and downs. And, and like you said, like it, it goes down. Like, you know, I've been in the game for 10 years. Right. And I still haven't, you know, had that number one hit you know, or the top 10 on billboards or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. Um, I don't feel no type of way about it because I trust God and his process and his plan, right. you know, and I, I I prefer to take the stairs and not the elevator because it builds the character. It yeah. makes me appreciate. I got gratitude. I'm grateful, you know, and I, I, I handle everything with grace because I know that, you know, I just seen people come up the elevator and come back down. Yeah. But when you go up them stairs, you meet people like y'all, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And you build those relationships and, you know, it lasts longer. That's the longevity in the game. So I, I learned that. So um, I'm just grateful to still even be relevant. Absolutely. Still be here and, and still, uh, you Have know, people waiting on you. To, for, to drop, mm-hmm. you know? And um, I'm just, I'm blessed, man. I'm in a good, I'm in a good position. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel the energy. I feel the aura. Yeah. It's vibrating high. Thank you. Now, when you think back at Keisha versus Cash Duel mm. and everything that you had to go through to get to where you are now, we're about to celebrate 10 years. You're about to drop a new project. What? Yeah. Ain't this crazy? Very crazy. You when know? you look back at that girl, what do you say to her? I fuck with you. Yeah. Like, you held on. <laughs> I held on. I, and on my new album, I got a song, A Letter to Myself, mm-hmm. where I talk about I talk about those things, yeah. you know? I just held on, and I just kept it pushing, and it's all God. Mm-hmm. And it's organic. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, all that social media stuff is just me. It's organic. It's not planned. It's just like me just living my life, and people receive me the way I'm giving it to them. And mm-hmm. I just, that's what I love the most because I don't have to change who I am to be accepted. Right. You know? And, and I think that people understand that mm-hmm. about me at this point of my career and my life. And me as a grown woman, I don't, I, I've become a mom through time. I'm yeah. someone's woman. You know, I, I, I have a career. I have a house. I have, my, I have people I take care of, yeah. you know? So, you know, um, I'm just grateful to just, like I keep saying, to still be here and still be relevant. Like, Absolutely. after all these years, 10 years, you got to think I was around before this wave of female rappers mm-hmm. was, was out. It wasn't none and of... And talking the same kind of talk, talk that you've been talking. Been. Yeah. Been. Mm-hmm. You know? And I'm just glad that people know. And they, it's all love with all everybody, yeah. you know? Because it's... it's it's, it's authentic. Yeah, and it's respect. It's respect. Absolutely. Respect, and I feel like I earned it. Of course. Yeah, and I don't do all that. I don't like going back and forth. I just... Yeah. You it is you. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl. Before we jump into the new music, let's yeah. talk about you as an actress. Yeah. And how you really transformed, I feel like, into your alter ego. Who you've always been, honestly. Exactly. Whenever I see you on the uh, big screen, I'm like, yeah, that's her. Yeah, I love acting. Acting, oh, oh my God, that's that's really what I want to do long term. Mm-hmm. Because it's so much, like even outside of just, you know, me being able to channel in different people. Right. And, you know, I have all these personalities, so mm-hmm. it's good to tap into different things and be able to, like, actually become a person. Because I don't know if it's really acting. Right. Right? Right. I think I do it. You have different sides of yourself. Yeah, so I get to be mm-hmm. that person. Even mm-hmm. whether I would do it in real life or not, right. I get to finally be that person. Like Monique, mm-hmm. she was from Detroit. She had two She had two of the biggest. The biggest. Going to... I would love... She was the one in the middle, you know? Mm-hmm. So and it was risk like... Risk it all. Risk it all, <laughs> you know? I hate the way she went out, but um, she, she passed in real life. But that's not how she passed, you yeah. know? But um, she passed in real life, and... I knew that she was going to pass, but I was just happy I was playing a Detroit girl. Right. And, um, you know, she had some swag about herself. She had kids, and she was a paralegal. She was a boss herself, but she dealt with bosses now. Mm-hmm. And um, and that's normally what the bosses go for. They gonna go am for I right them. or am I wrong? You tell me. You know what? That's what they attract. Mm-hmm. That's, what you're, that was, that, that's, that's what they attract. I think 
that's why I think it's so important that women get their self together. Yes. Before you go running behind and trying to find a man that got it, mm-hmm. you should become that because right. then you attract it. Mm-hmm. You know, and if you don't attract that, you know, you help, you know, you help become an empire with someone and now that's yours. You, you're a whole. Right. Instead of just getting somebody that already have it and now he treats you any kind of way because he don't, there's no respect there. Right. And you he know? knows you don't got it anyway. And he knows you ain't got it anyway. Mm. So I feel like you 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 going to attract what you are. So just focus on being a boss yourself. Right. First, why is it like everybody's just like, ah, oh, I need a nigga with money. <laughs> we be getting a little tired, but you know what? I'm gonna get mine first. No, cause I listen. You I'm all I'm for going. the girls living a soft girl era. Listen, I'm. That's what I'm trying to be. But baby, you gotta be able to give it to yourself. You gotta be able to give it to yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's not on that uh, like platform of how a man could do, because he makes more than you. But right. at least be able to carry yourself as such. Mm-hmm. In different ways, you can be rich. You don't always have to be financially. You can have a mentality. You can bring something to the table more than just looking good and having sex. Yeah. And 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 having your hand out. Right. You know, it's mentally health wise, and you know, being able to kick it with motivate and. It's more to life than just moving around dating to get a couple dollars mm-hmm. out of somebody or get a bag that you've seen the next girl with that worked hard for it on Instagram. It's right. like, no, you it's it, bring more to the table. Mm-hmm. I think that, you know, and that's that's soft girl era f- for me. Mm-hmm. Not just somebody's taking care of you and you don't have to lift a finger. Right. Like, I mean, that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> but just having your own too, because if that's gone, it ain't no more soft girl, baby. Mm-hmm. And you know what? You talk about a lot of that in the new music, where yeah. you're giving all the women gems. You're yeah. telling them exactly what they need to be doing yeah. and to keep it cute during the process. Yeah. Now, on this project, we got some features. T Grizzly, of course. Uh-huh, yeah. From home. From home. French Montana. Yeah. You know, ooh, you talking real crazy on that one. Oh, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that? Okay, yeah. movie trap. Okay. Uh-huh. I laughed a little bit, too. I like it. I like okay, when you cool. get in that bag. Okay. <laughs> and of course, for everybody, part two with Lady yeah. London. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I love that you guys got together, that back and forth. I feel like she is so similar to you in that way. Like, yeah. whenever I hear her go... I handpicked her myself. Mm. When I said I was doing... I never thought about doing a Fair Everybody Part 2 until I seen her. Mm. When I seen her and I listened to a few of her songs, I said, if I was to do a Fair Everybody Part 2, I'm going to reach out to her. Right. You know, because I like her. Yeah. I genuinely like everything about her. She's a cancer, too. Yeah. And we met, and that's like my girl. That's my girl right there. I, I like I it. like Lady London. She's, that's my girl. And um, we vibe, and she just has, she has it. Yeah. When it comes to that storytelling, going back and forth, the things to say, the things we can relate to. So that's who I wanted to be on my on my for everybody. You know, that's my baby right there. That, that changed my life. So I felt like she could actually... Um, compliment the record absolutely and she did yeah she she delivered i love it yeah. yeah as hard as you are throughout the project you get so soft for your baby I boy my <laughs> i love my uh-huh. Who uh-huh. Who uh-huh. turned two years old? all day who turned two he turned two surprise and him with coco melon yes uh, did you see him she I did did <laughs> <laughs> he's so sweet. Yeah. And now he's all over the place. Yeah. He's jumping off the couch. He want to jump out the car. He want to jump. And I'm scared. Oh, my God. Because my son is acting up now. Mm-hmm. He is all over the place. How has your son changed you in the best of ways, especially when it comes to the music? Man. Because this is the softest I've ever heard you. What? Cash <laughs> got me wrapped around his. I've never been in love like this before. Wow. I've never been in love like this before. He is like the perfect person. He made me, everything is so intentional now. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm saying things, I'm like, I ain't saying that. I ain't feeling like that no more. Mm -hmm. You know, like you see, I'm not really talking nasty until I got on a song with my my child's father. I got a song with him. Uh (laughs) And we talking nasty on there because I finally felt comfortable doing so. Because I don't know, it's just like I I have to think about later on. Mm -hmm. You know, so everything is very intentional with him. You know, my time, I, I try to be more on time with things now mm-hmm. because I know that that is valuable. Right. Um, my finances, I watch how I spend my money. It's mm-hmm. not just so reckless no more. Because um, 
I'd rather give it to him or let him have it in some type of ways, invest in and making sure that his future is 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 good is what I really focus on now. So he just, he made me a woman. Like he, I, I always been a boss, but he made me woman up. Like yeah. he made me cook and I'm cleaning. Like I want him to wake up and have what he wants every day and yeah. wash him up and I'm talking to him before he go to sleep. Mm. And you know, when he say, hi, mommy, mm. he has this where he, he got me so wrapped, girl. <laughs> hi, mommy. Everything stop. What what you want, Schnook? What's wrong, right. Schnook? Um, <laughs> you know, and then it's like, and it's so important like that we teach them how to be good human beings. And I know I have to um, lead and show him that and not yeah. just tell him. So it's like every actions I make, everything I'm doing, even with his dad, but it's just, we use profanity. Mm -hmm. You know, come on now, we all cuss. Like, right, right, right. Fucker. But now it's like, all right, well, we got to watch how we doing Talk this because even though he's going to eventually be exposed to it, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want him just thinking that that's just the way to communicate. In front of everybody. Everybody, right, right. you know, so whew, I'm, I'm not perfect, but, you know, I'm learning. And yeah. motherhood is very ghetto. Yeah. It's a ghetto hood. <laughs> that motherfucker ghetto. Look, <laughs> everything you've been through has brought you here for a reason. Mm -hmm. The family is growing. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, girl. Did you ever think that this was going to happen? Was no. this all planned? Did Absolutely you not. <laughs> Tell me more. Oh, my God. Because I know you and your, your love, of course. Yeah. You guys have such a beautiful bond that... I know yeah. this is just the most exciting of news to grow your family in this way. Yeah, you know, and um, I didn't expect this, mm -hmm. but I did know that <laughs> I did know that when in 2021, when I lost my jury box of jury mm -hmm. and the way it had me hurt mm -hmm. and it was material things, mm -hmm. I said, I need something else to be living for. Right. There's no way that this got me this. I was stuck mm -hmm. like, oh. And when I prayed, I prayed and I asked God after, I was like, well, can you bring me my stuff back? Whatever, you know, of course I asked for that. But then I also said, God, I need some new motivation. Mm. You know, this material stuff shouldn't have me this sick to my stomach. Right. I'm talking about I was sick, I was throwing up. I didn't miss shit on myself. Mm. When I found <laughs> out all my jury was gone, yeah, <laughs> you know crazy. what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, girl, like a week later on Mother's Day, I found out I was pregnant. Wow. And all the energy from me being hurt and feeling some type of way about my jury, it just shifted away. Mm. And due time, I got all that stuff back times two. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I got times my baby. For real. And yeah. now I have something that motivate me forever and it's not material. Right. Like I, would ch I wouldn't change none of this materialistic stuff for my schnook on. Of course. You know, and so uh, I felt like that was God answering my prayers around that time because I was, I, was, I was devastated. Yeah. I was about that jury. I was devastated. Um, and so, you know, bringing in another baby. Yay! I'm just like, you know, we're here to reproduce. Of course. That's what we're here to do. And, mm -hmm. and I think that we get selfish mm -hmm. because we think about what we want to do, right. what the goals we want to achieve. And I get it. We want to have money to provide. Mm -hmm. But that's not what God put us here to do. Oh, you, you preaching know? today. That's not what, you know. And yeah. as a woman, I'm just here to do what God want me to do. Absolutely. And, um, you know, hopefully the rest, it, it all makes sense in the end but I'm gonna love my kids regardless and I'm having my kids for me mm -hmm. so I'm two and I'm done though let's talk about that <laughs> two and done I ain't having no more Congratulations, Cash Dog. Yeah, thank you. We cannot wait for the project to come out. Now thank before you. you get up out of here, uh -huh. Miss Two and One. Okay. Cash Commandments. You like that song? That's my favorite. Listen, when I made that song, <laughs> I said, this is one right here. Mm -hmm. Like, I sent it to JY. I said, this is one of them ones. Right. It's one of them ones. And, and you're talking to the girls. And it's so real. It is. It is. And you know what? Thank you for it all. <laughs> no, I'm no problem. Sure Thank I you look for good having while I do okay. it. Okay. Okay, because I said says one. Because so. in the commandments, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give y'all a little preview. I Please. said one. Never let a nigga fuck you over more than one. Mm -hmm. Two. Anybody owe you bread, do not accept the crumbs. Don't. Three, you can never tell these bitches everything. Nope. Because today she call you sis, tomorrow she enemy. Mm-hmm. Four, just keep a stash and don't never let a nigga leave you dry. Never. Five, stand no business. If they say it's up, you better ride. Ten toes. Six, <laughs> 
keep your family first, put that in front of everything. Mm -hmm. Bet that on yourself if you gonna roll the dice on anything. That was two, that was seven. Yep. Hey, any points to be made, don't be scared to prove it. All right? The realest one. And you better look fucking good when Why you do it. Why you do it? it? Oh, cash door. You better look fucking good when you do it. <laughs> Y'all are here. Yeah, y'all get to it. I cash door, y'all. BT Talks. Thank <laughs> you. Girl.